you said uh so we talked about religion and then we mm-hmm. went on that topic and then uh you also mentioned love uh, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll give you a theory uh, that okay. i have so okay. so love can be described as using nuclear uh, uh topic uh, terms so fusion it's you know it's when you know two atoms come together okay so in the beginning you know when two people come together this mm-hmm. is like one way to describe that okay. and you, and you get a lot of energy yeah because of that and then but you also experience when you know when once our relationship ends you also uh, experience uh you know, fission okay. when when the atoms um you know come apart, come apart. Okay. Uh, and you also get a lot of energy uh with, with with that involved uh what have you learned about you know love in your you know 65 years of life yeah from your yeah well i've been married kids. twice so yeah. uh so uh, you get some of that fusion and fission. Um, and then, of course, you try to study, hey, why did my relationship, first one not, you know, work out? What should I look towards the second, of course? And then you meet someone and all logic goes out the window anyway. But uh, but I think, you know, um, there's different phases. You know, you read all these books, you know, that phase one is you're romantically head over heels with each other, right? And then, the, you know, get to, to, to some other phases and you actually want the phase where you're really, really comfortable with the other person and you have shared interests and shared uh, desires to do things together and really good communication, right? I mean, those are the ultimate things that are going to allow a relationship to, to last and prosper, I think. Um, so, um I, but ultimately, you know, the, the heart and hormones and everything else also gets in the way. So you may have be able to coldly logical figure out how I should find what the perfect person should be for me. And then it's all going to go out the window when you actually meet somebody. And so, you know, I, I don't study marriage, right? It's not my <laughs> field. Okay. Um, uh, you know, I, I'm currently married for something on the order of 27 years. So that's great. First time was 15. Um, you know, I'm fully expecting the, the marriage I am going to last the rest of my life. Okay. Uh, and, uh, and I'm, I'm sure, it, I'm, you know, I'm sure it will. Uh, so I don't know. Emotions are, 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 are difficult. I think one thing though is important to know. We are all human beings and all the things that you're feeling when you're going through a breakup or you're upset because someone did or said this, other people have had all those feelings. Okay. And and so it is useful, I think, to either read about it or certainly to talk to other people about it, right? Because you haven't gone through this all. You're not the only person in the world to ever have had this group of feelings. Um, And when you know that's true, you can build up a support structure of people who you can talk to, maybe your parents, right? Or maybe others, right? Friends uh, or books that talk to you about this and and offer solutions. People who really do study this, right? I I think that's a really useful aspect to 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 help navigate the the stuff, right? But this isn't my field, so. But as a, as a human, it is. Well, sure. You know, <laughs> I'm giving you grandfatherly advice. You're not really that far away in, in age from my grandchildren these days, right? I mean, my children are in their you know mid to late 30s, early 40s. So you're closer to my uh, grandchildren.